Uh, hello guys, today uh, we're going to configure AWS CLI on my Mac. So without any further delay, let's get into the action. So I've got AWS, uh, I've got my terminal here. Let's just go execute some AWS commands because my AWS CLI is already installed. We are now gonna go get, I mean, we are now gonna get configured. Um, uh, I'm trying to execute uh, some commands to see if it's already been configured or not. Um, so it'll it'll tell us uh, if it's already configured. It'll tell us uh, what is the user which actually configured the credentials with. And uh, let's just execute a few other commands. List users. So it clearly says unable to locate the credentials. You can configure credentials by running AWS configure here. Um, also, um, there should be a folder, ls hyphen la. So if you just type that in the home directory, there should be dot AWS folder. So there should be a hidden folder, which is called dot AWS, where you will have credentials folders, yeah? So, so now, uh, uh, before getting um, maybe before running AWS configure we need to create a user and that we need to uh, create e uh, access and a secret key for that particular user um, this is my AWS console and then I'm going to type IAM here get into my IAM so I already have a two user here but then I'm, I'm trying to create a, a fresh user yeah uh, CLI user and then see um, technically you can just give uh, only this one permissions so here i would want it to attaching policies directly I, i'm directly giving uh, administrator access but you you're not supposed to give administrator access uh, only the access or maybe the only the service access like RDS, if you want to access RDS, just give RDS policy here, type in RDS policy, Amazon RDX full access if you want. Uh, but then I'm going with administrative access here. Type name, CLI user, maybe a programmable X create. So this is the only first and last time you will be um, seeing this use and I mean access key and secret key on the console if you want to save you just click on download CSV it'll be downloaded yeah so don't worry uh, after this video I'll, I'm gonna I mean um, remove this user access from the console anyways so we've got um, access key and secret key ID here I'm just going to the terminal now um, terminal clear AWS configure access key ID is this one secret key ID this one so re default regions see there there are some regions and IDs right here every region will have a region ID so this is a default region. Let's say if you execute AWS um, EC to describe images or describe instances, it will go uh, by default on this particular region and it will give you the output. So I'm going with the Northern Virginia, US East 1. I'm going to say US East 1 and the default output format. So there are three default, uh, I mean, they, there are three possible values you can give here. Uh, one is like JSON, if you want output formatted to be in JSON. Um, otherwise you can give it as a text. Uh, if you wanted to uh, use grep, set, or some of these process, text processors, uh, you, can per, you can use a text. Uh, you can give table. Table uh, will not be used for programming uh, or anything, but it will just give a, a, a good view uh, for the uh, humans, yeah? I'm gonna give JSON. That's it. So earlier we've executed few commands here. Um, AWS EC to describe instances and get car identity. I'm just gonna use the same thing now. It should say CLI user, yeah? See here, 
it is saying CLI user that is what we've actually created with and also there should be a folder um, AWS folder see if you see here AWS folder has been created but before here you cannot see that AWS folder and uh, there should be LS uh, AWS you see there are uh, two files will be created here credentials will have your uh, access key and okay let's get into that file at config it should have your yeah region and output and if you just say credentials it should have your access key and secret key if you are using uh, your aws cli or if you're using terraform if you're using packer uh, if you configure your aws cli into your uh, uh, you know system by default it, it can go read these files and then uh, give you the output but if you do not do it uh, you may need to put these into variables and uh, sometimes it gets exposed to uh, the public so uh, that is it guys um, so this is what we've done we've just uh, in the uh, aws im we've created a user and then we've given uh, uh, programmable access which is like uh, access key and secret key has been created for that user and then AWS CLI is already been installed into our system and then we've just configured uh, the AWS CLI um, this is it for today um, uh, happy learning bye